Hey everyone, welcome back to Cam Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you this quick tip to create a nice parallax effect. So I'll first show you my layers here, which I've created in Illustrator. We have this background layer here. We have this background mountains, which are kind of blurry. We have this snowy mountains in the back, and layer three, then layer two, and layer one, uh, which makes up all the ground. Then we have layer zero, which are these rocks and the snow and some trees, one tree. And then you have this big tree in front here. So they're all um, layers that I created in Illustrator. I'll show you them here. And what I did here is this, this composition is 2,500 pixels wide, but my uh, After Effects composition is only 920 pixels wide. So for a parallax uh, effect, you need to make these layers wider than they are actually on screen because they're gonna mo be moving from left to right. Uh, so here you can see that, these, that, this little, that this part here is not even visible in the screen right now, but it will be when we'll be moving these. So when you want to create a parallax effect, what you mostly do is uh, turn all your layers to 3D. Then you're going to go into two views, and this is way, one way you can do it. And then you can select your background, move that back into Z space, so you can see it moving here as well, because now it is further from the camera. And then our background mountains layer, push that back as well. Our snowy mountains, push those back. And when we go back into my normal view here, you can see they're all scaled down and not uh, on screen properly. So I need to scale this back up again and position it. And for the sky, it's no problem. And for these mountains, not that much of a problem as well. But for these mountain snow, I need to scale them up, but now they're not perfectly uh, at the place I wanted them. I need to check uh, what my design was. And I just want to keep this design perfect. And I don't want it to be changing it up and missing something here. So. Uh, this is not a, a, a great way for me to create uh, this 3D effect because I want to keep my design perfect, how I created it in 2D. So what we're going to do is use a camera and a null for this. It's a cool little trick that I recently saw. And what you can do is first uh, turn uh, create a new camera. So there you go, new camera. And we'll create a new null object, like that. And what we're going to do is uh, Let's call this parallax control. Turn all of these layers 3D, including the null. We're going to parent this null object to our camera. And then uh, when we, let's put it at two views. And you can see here that if I go to my uh, null and go to the position and turn this to zero, it will snap here to this camera. So what we're going to do now is unparent all of this or um, unparent this null parent all of this, including the camera, to our null object. So this is now our control layer. And um, let's go for our tree big here. That's the one in the front, it's closest to the camera. So we're going to uh, click this and set it to none, the parent. And what we're going to do into our null object, go to scale. And we're just going to scale this up. And what you can see happening here is that it will push back our tree layer but nothing is happening here on our design, in our normal view. Everything stays exactly the same, which is great because now I don't have to alter the design and everything stays perfectly in place, but we do get this 3D effect with a camera. So we have our uh, tree big here and we're going to scale it up even a bit more. And then we're going to unparent the next layer, layer zero, that's one back further. Uh, unparent that and just scale it again and you can see that our tree layer stays right there and then our, the next layer just moves back a whole lot so keep doing this and just make sure that you make this scale big enough for this effect to actually work properly so just make it a really big scale layer two deselect that parent scale this up again deselect that scale this up and this way you can create this nice depth and do the how much you scale this will determine how much back further this will look and what the how uh, heavy the parallax effect will be so i'm just going to make it pretty big here so big that i can't even see it on screen anymore okay and that one a big up and then this one as well like that Okay, so let's turn off this two views and go back to my one view here. And if I, it's a bit heavy though, so maybe if I put the resolution a bit down at quarter, it's a little uh, pixely. But if I go to my parallax control and go to the position again, and I can uh, create, uh, if, take this position here, and we can, if I move it to the left and the right, we can see we have this 
really cool parallax effect that's really easily created in just a couple of minutes. And you can see that this tree is moving faster than the, the stuff in the back. Uh, so now we have this really nice parallax effect, uh, which you can of course keyframe here with the position and then go here. And now we have this really cool parallax effect. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, it's a really easy way to create a, a, a good working parallax effect and make all your layers 3D, but you don't have the hassle of um, placing everything in the right order again, in the right place and scaling it up. So everything is quicker and easier done like this. If you want to see the final result of this, I have this video here, which I created like two or three years ago with this for a Christmas animation we made. Um, this was done the old way without this uh, parallax effect. Um, if you guys want to see how we animate this little guy here, it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, let me know in the comments down below and we will uh, make a tutorial about this as well. How we created this uh, light and how this beard moves and how this thing moves with him. Uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. Um, I hope you like this video and this quick little trick to create this parallax effect. Um, please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you did like it or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. And thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye bye.